RadioXtremeFM.com. It starts here. It starts now. Queen Elizabeth National Park, one of Uganda's biggest tourist gems. Queen Elizabeth National Park, which is located in western Uganda and spans the Ruwenzori region, is credited for being the most national park in Uganda. Although it was founded in 1952, the park was established in 1954 and named after the now-departed British monarch Queen Elizabeth II to commemorate her first visit to Uganda, and is currently one of the biggest tourist attractions in the country, Queen Elizabeth National. Park boasts diverse ecosystems, which include sprawling savanna, shady, humid forests, sparkling lakes and fertile wetlands, which make the park an ideal habitat for various big game, over 10 primate species among them chimpanzees and rare monkeys plus over 600 species of birds and innumerable species of botany. Some of the park's alluring sceneries include dozens of enormous craters carved dramatically into rolling green hills, panoramic views of the Kazinga Channel with its banks lined with hippos, buffaloes and elephants, and the endless Ishasha plains whose fig trees hide lions ready to pounce on herds of unsuspecting Uganda cobs. Besides the enchanting wildlife attractions, plus the alluring flora and fauna, Queen Elizabeth National Park also offers tourists a rich cultural history because they get chance to meet, mingle and interact with the local communities, allowing them to enjoy storytelling, dance, music and more. Attractions in Queen Elizabeth National Park Although the park boasts innumerable vistas, there are several key tourist attractions that visitors from around the world can't miss whenever they visit Queen Elizabeth National Park, and some of them include, but are not limited to the following, Lake George. The key feature of Lake George is the papyrus swamps of the Ramsar wetland site which are habitat to the semi-aquatic Sitatunga antelope. The lake also hosts the elusive shoebill plus several other native bird species and rare insects which fascinate visitors. Explosion craters, ranked among the breathtaking sceneries in the park. These 72 huge round basins are scattered across the equator and give evidence of the Albertine Rift's bubbling volcanic past. These craters are so tempting for visitors with a particular interest in the region's almost magical geological history. Visitors to the craters have to experience a 27 km drive between Cabotoro Gate and Queen's Pavilion, enjoying the mind-blowing views of the circular lakes, the Rift Valley Escarpment, and the Kazinga Channel which cascades the mighty backdrop of the Ruwenzori Mountains, Katwe. Another key tourist attraction in the Ruwenzori region, Katwe is a must-see for visitors. Especially, because it's home to the Katwe Cabotoro community on Katwe Salt Lake where traditional salt mining has been practiced since the 16th century. Besides the community however, Katwe's neighboring Lake Munyanyang is a fascinating bird sanctuary as well as a migratory location for the lesser flamingo from August to November. Kaysani Plains, if you intend to enjoy the classic safari setting, then the vast savanna of Kaysani is your ideal destination. The plains are habitat for massive herds of Uganda cob which attract prides of lion and other carnivores. The plains are also rich in warthogs, guinea fowl and other birds that scuttle through the grassland, plus gigantic dark elephants that stride across the game drive tracks, providing dream photo opportunities and a memorable experience for visitors, Mwea. Peninsula, this is arguably the focal point in Queen Elizabeth National Park. The peninsula is flourishing with rare bird, an animal species, thanks to its strategic national elevation. The peninsula commands gorgeous views of the Kazinga Channel and surrounding savanna and its proximity to Kaysani, and the North Kazinga Plains make it an ideal departure point for wildlife-filled game drives for visitors in the mornings or evenings. Kazinga Channel Any visitor who intends to cool off during their trip shouldn't miss the excursion down the Kazinga Channel, because it is the most relaxing way to enjoy a wildlife safari in Queen Elizabeth National Park. With its banks teeming with hippos, buffaloes, elephants, and water birds, mingling with crocodiles, monitor lizards, marabou storks, weaver birds, and elegant pairs of fish eagles, the scenery at Kazinga Channel is almost a heavenly experience. Kayambura Gorge Now this is the part no visitor ever gets ready for because the Kayambura Gorge is both breathtaking and nerve-wracking at the same time. The roaring Kayambura River flows through this thick underground forest. 100 meters below the Kikwamba escarpment, amidst impenetrable vegetation and various wildlife species, however, the gorge is a renowned habitat for chimpanzees and monkeys, which offers visitors a thrilling tracking experience. Courtesy of guidance from Uganda Wildlife Authority, UWA, guides, Kayambira Wildlife Reserve, 
The beautiful crater lakes of this reserve, located to the east of Kayambura Gorge, offer excellent opportunities to observe many water birds including greater or lesser. Flamingos and the Great Egret, Maramagambo Forest, buzzing around with primates, including chimpanzees, baboons, and several monkey species, the forest is also alive with numerous birds including the rare forest flycatcher, white-naped pigeon, and the striking Ruenzeri turaco. One can also visit the Cormorant House, a large tree that has been turned white by the birds that roost there at night. RadioExtremeFM.com It starts here. It starts now.